So this kind of uh, scenario has given us a complete different identification. A 10 shifts identified consumer behavior. So what are the 10 shifts? What are the 10 highlighted shifts from the normal scenario of lifestyle that has happened? So here it is. Additional anxiety. Psychological anxiety has been developed. We were not like that, but we had developed a kind of anxiety. Optimized work from home animals. We have internet, we have WhatsApp, we have too many call setups, we have uh, more than one uh, you know, desktop, laptop, all are open. So you have the office in your home. That, that was an arranged setup for you. Because this is the complete different scenario under pandemic. So it is your home, it is your office, it is your whatnot. So we are in a different uh, situation which the world has offered us. So taking a delivery to your house, you, you are either taking a, some delivery at your house or you are sending out some delivery to your friend's house, relatives of by virtue of Amazon and uh, Mitra or whatnot. I mean, in your country, in Nepal, in the, there may be so many options. We uh, had it in India, there are a lot of options. So we, we depended highly on e-commerce. So by, while sending out to uh, somebody's place, some friends place, relatives place, what, and we are getting the same thing at our home as well. So, a damaged faith product, a product, product and consumer hygiene. So, the, the, the time has come when uh, we had to develop a kind of, a, you know, uh, we were not sure whether this thing has, somebody has delivered, and how much hygiene they have kept, maintained, for that particular delivery. So then, at, at what point of time, you must be aware, you must have uh, uh, that in mind, that at that certain point of time, the, all the consumers have started giving you, you know, the temperature of the carrier, of the person who is delivering, the, the, the physical condition of that particular person, and the wrap-up was, the entire wrapping of the uh, item was such that the hygiene is properly maintained. Otherwise, you can also reject it. So, just just think of the situation when uh, we are strictly thinking of whether to take it or not, and it's a precarious situation. So, so it's a conflict of tension was there because of this situation, and little interaction, little interaction at home as well. So, as as soon as we are stepped into a different lifestyle, a different work culture, we stop speaking to our elderly people. We, we stop speaking to our near ones. The, the normal conversation has come down to a level where you are only stepped to your, either to your work or some kind of anxiety or some kind of, you know, disbelief developing within yourself. Got it? So, so this, this was the scenario going on during the pandemic. So then the, there was travel restrictions, you cannot go out. There was an identity crisis. So these were the situations when we were going through. So like everything, like Corona and pandemic changed the lifestyle, the, the content writing also have seen a radical change of scenario. So, so if it, I, I was just uh, looking through our, some research in internet, and I found the Statista content marketing results shows 60% companies worldwide were looking hard for aggressive content marketing after the pandemic, because that's the way they can, you know, just propagate and pro, pro, you know, promote their brands and products. So they, they become suddenly very aggressive on, on social media and on online more. So 60% worldwide company uh, are become very, very, very aggressive. Now, what the pandemic uh, has, has done to us, now, of course, it is impossible to ignore 
the changes brought on by the pandemic. But what are the changes? Like this the digital transformation efforts primarily have been accelerated by 50% by, by B2B and 46% by B2C business. Next is, uh, the, now, this, this uh, they have an, uh, exhib they exhibit the greater compassion, resilience, and empathy. And this is how you win over users. So, the, the, all the companies, are, they, they're showing the three things. You know, it, they're trying to exhibit their empathy, the compassion, and the resilience to their users so that, that the, the, the users get interested about their product and the brand. And that's how they, they try to market their products. So now under the revised scenario, and under the as, as the pandemic, pandemic is getting over, we are coming out of, of gradually coming out towards a normal scenario. But still, the, the, though we are calling it a normal scenario, but there, there is still a lot of effect, psychological effect. And that psychological effect is having a lot of impact on the business as well. So, so the companies have top priority for the users. So, what is the top, the, the top priority? No, they, they are looking for real people to cater to, real users. When I'm saying real users, that means the, the people who will concentrate hard on their country and evaluate accordingly and have a go. So the, the main points they are looking at is they are concentrating genuine and helpful content for their users. Genuine and relevant, short, crisp content. Number one. And number two, behind the scenes, videos, employees' anecdotes, and how your brand is established might boost the engagement. So these are the three things that they are concentrating on while preparing the content for the content marketing of that particular company. So what are the three things? These videos, employees' anecdotes, very, very, very important. Those who have, uh, who are already running the companies, they can just uh, keep a note that you have to come up with your success stories, the employees' anecdotes, very, very important, because that's how the users relate those stories. If you, if you tell the success stories, your stories of failures, then people can relate with you, and when, the pe when people can relate with you, common users can relate with your business, your journey, your Goal is action. So elements of interactivity in social selling. So what are the basic elements that you should concentrate on? So there are three things that is that is going to be the ruler after the pandemic, during post pandemic. The three, what are the three things? The computer vision technologies. Augmented reality and virtual reality. So that's how the e-commerce rule. They have already started to rule. And, and then there comes the engaging tools, self-guided tests and in-person product demos that are very, very you know, crisp ways that might use interactive social selling. So I know a lot of a lot of you are sell your products online. There's no shops or, you know, counter sales physically. So, they must depend on these things, like engaging tools, self-guided tests, and in-person product demos. So that helps a lot. Because these three things, that guide the social media uh, in a big way. And the users can also take and you know try out those things online. That's very very easy. So personalized content. 
the trend is going to be personalized content for one and all post pandemic. So I've already told you how much, what is the percentage of B2B and B2C companies that will be, uh, that is going aggro, very, very aggressive worldwide. Now, this is 42% of B2B and 38% of B2C companies as you personalized content distribution throughout the customer's journey is highly important. Very, very relevant and very impactful. So just, just uh, think of the percentage. Now, they all, this, this 42% and 38%, and probably rest of the lot as well, they look for personalized content. So when I'm saying personalized content, it is all about your journey, which can be related to the normal users. Remember that carefully. Please take a note that this is this is very very important. Whatever you are going to write, whatever you are doing as content marketing, try to be very very personal towards towards the user so that they can relate. If you tell you know big things, what you have achieved. What you are, what is your, you know, award you have achieved? What, what you have done in life? They cannot even relate to you. You tell them your success story in a very modest way. Tell them your failures in life, in your journey, your product details with the live demo. That is a personalized story to your users. Diversify your content. Guys, very, very important point. Uh, this, the, we, we know blogs, right? Now it's time for you to, you know, transform your blog into several other things. There are not many people in this era, especially uh, with due respect to the young generation, they have hardly hardly have concentration to write blog. I write blog for for quite a long time, but I know, I, I speak to a lot of young people, and I find it very difficult to find a few who religiously and with a lot of passion constantly write blogs. So this is a time when you can just transform your blog into several other segments, like you can, you can turn your blog into a podcast or a video, which is easier. You know reels, right? So you, you make short reels with short one minute clip of audio and try to, you know, message out to the world what you intend to say. Maybe if you write a blog, that will eat out maybe two hours of yours, or three hours, person to person varies, but then the reels of one minute takes just 10 minutes to prepare. So it's, it may be a reel, or if you are not very confident about speaking something on, on a video, you can come up with a podcast. Start doing podcasts. It's just an audio clip, and it, 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 it will make a havoc. Time to hire more social media specialized by business houses. So this is the time. Those who are preparing for preparing yourself for jobs, off big jobs, try to prepare yourself as social media professionals. Because this is going to be a huge need worldwide that they will be needing across the world a lot of social media professionals. But this is the area, digital marketing is a huge term, which, which infuses a lot of stuff in it. But social media is just one thing which you, anybody and everybody can do, because this is a not, not a rocket science. The social media, you get to learn, you need to understand what it is exactly, and you're trying to follow the path. Because this can offer you unlimited jobs in this era, post pandemic. Now, these are some, some figure and figures and facts for you for the written content because one
once again, as I have told, this is an age of written con content, personalized content, but quite very, very crisp content made for the users. You can, you know, segregate each and every content into several podcasts, small videos, reels, and other stuff. Make it a very short, crisp post in the social media, in Insta or Facebook. But then be very, very careful about what you are going to write, which can relate to the, whether it is going to relate to the customers or not. Your users, think in terms of, uh, you know, putting yourself in the sh shoes of, uh, you know, customers, normal users, so that you can understand what their psyche can be, and accordingly focus yourself to, to write your content accordingly. Uh, that's the trend. So these are the, some some interesting facts and figures. I'm not going to uh, tell you once again. You can just uh, uh, have a look. Yeah. And and yeah. And and uh, these are the three things: customization, epidemic influences, and putting your consumer first. These three are the rules in 22, 2022, and going ahead. So just remember this. Well, that's all.